Anita for Arsenal Fan TV and I'm joined by the main man, Robbie. Robbie's back. Robbie, were you predicting that score? I did think that France would win. They've been the best team in the tournament. Um, they deserve to, to, to win the World Cup. I still think that there was a bit of controversy there. That handball. Oh, was it a penalty? For me, listen, you've seen them get given in the Premier League and stuff like that. But for me, if you've got VAR and it has to be deliberate, I can't see how that's deliberate. My, that's me personally. But listen, France, the quality that they possess, you know, they, they, they didn't dominate the game. I thought the Croatia probably were the best team dominating. But they've just got the quality of guys like Mbappe, Griezmann, Pogba, these guys, they're just too good. So um, they deserve winners of the World Cup. And um, I'm so jealous, man. Oh, so jealous. So going into this match, um, Lauren did come out saying that he should be considered as one of the best defenders in the world. What are your thoughts on that? Do you know what? Listen, fair play to him. I know a lot of people are slagging him off for it. But he's got to, like he said, he's got to a Champions League final and a World Cup final. And if he's terrible, he wouldn't have done that, would he? So... I think you've got to respect him for saying that. Um, he's not a bad defender. Um, Lloris on the other hand in goal. Another Tottenham player messing up. I'm sorry. Oh, you had to go there. You went there, Robbie. Yeah, I'm going there because you know what? Whilst I was over at the World Cup, Tottenham fans reminded me how great they've been in this tournament. Well, I think Harry Kane, Deli Alli were very poor for England after the qualifiers. And Lloris, what was he doing? I mean, that was another carries, you know, but listen, um, to be fair to him, he's going to lift up the World Cup and uh, they deserve winners of it. And um, it's been a great, fantastic World Cup. I mean, you know, this is the first game I've watched back in England. I've been lucky enough to be out there and I've got to say it was brilliant, well organised. The people were so friendly, meeting people from different nations from all around the world. There was no trouble, no nothing. And I think that this World Cup was fantastic and I think... You know, I just can't wait till the next one. It was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And lastly, who was your man of the tournament? You've got to give it to Mbappe. You know, he lit the tournament up. You know, before the tournament, we were talking about Neymar. We were talking about uh, you know, Messi's, Ronaldo's. Mbappe stole the show. You know, he scored in the final. He, he, he was brilliant throughout it. Nobody could deal with his pace and power. And he's 19. And you know what, when I saw Arsene Wenger, Look at to spend £100 million on him. That's when you know he's good. If Wenger even wants to take that sort of money out and spend, you knew he was going to be a great player. For me, he's definitely the player of the tournament. And uh, you as well. You, you, you've, been, you've been a player of the tournament as well. I've seen all the stuff that you've done over here. You've been brilliant. You've been fantastic. I think my job's gone. I can retire. What do you say, guys? Yeah. Let me know. <laughs> I, I can retire now. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Robbie. You. <laughs>